Freedom Hawk is out of its aviary, brother, <laughs> and it's radiating to fly. <laughs> it's a- ah! Alright, well, what are we, uh, what are we doing today, Ryan? Well... Besides p- drawing attention to your head. Well, the plan <laughs> is to hopefully work on the inside of that truck by putting it in the inside of that truck. Let's get to it, bro. Let's do it, brothers! Guys, so you might be noticing a little bit of uh, tinny roof sound like the rain coming down on a summer night on a metal roof. Um, we're gonna hopefully alleviate some of that with some Jimmy. We call it a huckabuck down here in the south where I'm from. We call it a huckabuck. So, sound dead material that junk gets expensive. And so when I did uh, color audio stuff, I've come across this one junk you can get at the old auto parts store, no, Homa Depot. And it basically does the same thing. It's literally an eighth of an inch thinner than sound deadening material that costs twice as much. Yeah. So we're gonna do that, put it all in horror, all up in horror, everywhere, yeah. and uh, hopefully get rid of it. Yep. Anyway, so what we got here, guys, is how we're gonna sound deaden this truck. Yeah. This stuff you can buy on um, Frost King, Home Depot. We'll put a link in the description below in case you guys want to find it. And like I said, it's literally an eighth of an inch thinner than Dynamat. Now Dynamat will come in a bigger roll, wider roll, so right. it's a little more. Um, but it does. It says 15 feet. 15 feet. So yeah, it's actually less than an eighth of an inch. And look, see that's a the thickness there, and it is sticky on the side. So you roll it out, put it where you want it, cut it, and keep on rolling. Cool. Right? That's yeah. a huge difference. I mean, it's quiet in comparison. You, obviously, the back in that has a double layer. Right. So it's harder to get that. Yeah. But. Yeah, it looks yeah. awesome. I'm Look. pretty happy with it. All right, folks. Look at that. Masterpiece by Mr. Ryan. I don't know about all that. We we got it pretty much wrapped up. We do have a lot more we got to finish all the, but we got enough to where we can get the dash and all of its components in. I don't know if you can tell that the echo is a whole lot less than it was before. Oh uh, yeah, it's gigantic. Uh, um, so once we get all the panels wrapped, all the holes filled, it's gonna sound amazing. Yeah. Here. Cool. Well, what are we gonna do next, Ryan? What do you think? We're gonna try to remove sure. that dash and then all the electrical components and everything that behind it and that run it and transplant it from that truck into this truck. Ryan's working on this antenna cable. Pull it out. There it is. And then we're gonna work on, we're gonna get these controls out and maybe take it off here, see if that does it. And then uh, next thing will be to take all this airbox stuff out of here and move it to our other truck.
All right, Ryan, we are back at it, buddy. Whoa. Was this like day two of uh, interior stuff? Yeah. The hope, guys, will be to get the intern, interns, the interns, uh -huh. inside of that, the whitey yes. into the green. And the reason that is is because the turds in the inn in the green are powered locks, power windows, and all that. So we gotta strip these all out, and then we gotta sound deaden them, and then we gotta put it all back in. Okay. So the hope would be by the end of this video, doors, and all this is back together. That's huge, and we have steering now. That's yep, huge. And brakes. And then I think we're also gonna change these, aren't we, Ryan? Don't, didn't we say that those are better on the white one? Yeah, the Blanco Longo has better everything. All right, everything. so we're gonna remove all those pieces also, so. All right, well, let's do it. Now we're gonna clean it up. We're gonna sound deaden it, both sides of the door, mm -hmm. as much as possible. And then we'll put the new uh, turds inside. Nice. So, I think they're called innards. Innards. But we'll just call it turds. Turds, let's get the turds in. Let's do it! Let's do it! Wait a second, recap, go. <laughs> oh, all right, well, we got all the guts out of the white truck door. All the turds are out of the white truck? They're out. Bueno. It's all sitting right here inside this one, so now all that has to go in here. I'm starting all with that. Little, that looks little bits and pieces there. Simple enough. Yeah. Um, I'm starting, we had to move our door locks over, right? Yep, because we're keeping the key. So here's the lock. It's got a little rod that goes in there for the door lock, so because they're uh, electric. Slide. What's that electric. Slide. All right, guys, stay tuned as we finalize this door. <laughs> the hope is to finalize these innards, mm -hmm. get the covers on them, put our fenders, and run our body harness for the cab so that we have all of the body harness and electrical components that are stocked to the 95 yep. on the body. Yep. Because it, soon we're gonna start running the electrical for the for the engine vroom vroom stick. And then the vroom vroom stick. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And then it'll start, but it won't move because we won't have a drive shaft. Yeah, we gotta do fuel system. Yeah. And then drive shaft. I think what we're gonna do with the drive shaft is we'll make our own. Okay. Out of the pieces we have, cut them up, weld them on, and then that'll at least let us get it to move and stuff. Yeah. And then we'll take the one we make to the axle shop. Have it balanced. And then if they can balance it or make one like that, whatever way. I think that's a great idea. But I think we have enough components to make our own axle let's shaft. Do let's do that. I'm basically an axle professional. Okay. They call me Axle Rose. Oh, because every thorn, up. what is it? Every rose has a thorn. Is that one of their songs? Yeah, sing it again. Just like every cowboy sings a sad, sad song. I feel like you're mocking me. I'm just, I'm lip syncing to you. Check it out, bro. We got uh, glass put in. What did we end up doing to get that? Because we, the issue we were having was on the top of this piece right here, uh, there's a little slider that goes in the bottom of the window and we couldn't get it lined up So what was your brilliant idea? Well, as you guys know uh, We're putting power windows in a truck that didn't have them and the truck currently doesn't have power or the wiring harness to get power if we had a battery from the battery to the door. Right. We don't even have it all finished <laughs> and you have to have power to actuate the window to get it on so when I used to do car stuff all the time what we would do is we would just grab a 
18 volt battery. Yeah. We'd find the harness we need to power. Yep. Which is this one. Yep. We run two leads off of it. Yep. And all these batteries have a negative and a positive. So you just boom, boom, and then. What you doing, Ryan? You Can you get any more people middle? inside this cab? Hey, hey, John, why don't you come up in here? <laughs> <laughs> we need uh, more. We need five people we in got this cab. The, the tallest guy in America I'm in about here. to show you how it's done. Get you some yeah. of that. <laughs> it's on backwards. No, it's not. You put Stop. It on. <laughs> You're lying, right? I don't know. You're lying, right? I guess we'll find out. This thing is back together. Who would have thought that would have been a thing today? Why well, no? Right? So what do we, oh, uh, I guess we need to show them what we got on the inside, don't we? Ryan worked over here. Your friend Jason came and helped and got the headliner in, got the light in, got this uh, back piece of carpet that's behind the seat. Got them, the, what are them things that you use to block the sun balls out of your face? Um, sun ball dampeners. Sunball dampeners. I like that. <laughs> we should caption that. Sunball dampeners. Check so, us out, guys, if you want some sunball dampeners. Uh, no, we can sell them to you. <laughs> so Ryan got those in, and then uh, we had to uh, re-rivet our lock. So yep. our actuator in the bottom has a rivet. And then our system here with our motor for our electric windows has three rivets here, so we had to re redo that. Put our handle back in, put our speaker back in, put our window in. We changed these out. These are actually from the white truck, right? Yeah, because so they're in better condition. They're in better. So those came from over there. Put those in. Move the mirrors, because now these mirrors are electric mirrors, where other ones were not. And uh, did some soldering, which you guys see, saw with your own eyes, and that stunk. So we're about ready, pretty much ready, to put this door panel on and see if it fits. Look at that door panel, man. I mean, guys, check that out. It is in pristine condition. Yeah. I mean, it's just amazing how much of a better condition these are yeah so, way nicer definitely cool. worth getting a donor vehicle for sure right But when it got shipped to us, it's pretty light. Pretty light colored. Let's just say it's on the low melanin side of carpets. It is. There's a good spot right where you put your feet. It's a perfect color. The rest of it's like Off. 10 times too light. But anyway, so what's the plan, Ryan? What are we going to do? The plan is to convince Jason to leave it. No, we're and not. To deal with it. No, we're not going to do that. No, the plan <laughs> is to pull the carpet out, ship it back on our expense, more than likely. Probably. Order another one from another company or samples and then pick the right one yes. and go from there. I don't know what else to do, guys. We want 150 grand for this truck. <laughs> you're not gonna get 150 grand if the carpet ain't the right color. No, it's gotta be right. And when you're going for six figs like us. Six figs. You know what I'm saying? Six figs. So let us know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Yeah, please. If you don't, then clearly we're too loud or annoying for you or whatever the heck the excuse <laughs> you can make up for not subscribing. Wait, wait, wait. We? Him. And on that note, we'll see you next time.